Peace. What's going on, everybody? I don't want to go off the rails too much and stuff. You know, the strange thing is always ongoing. Okay, Reggie Redbird is ongoing. All right. But uh, I do want to talk about something out there that's, you know, significant on especially this thing with Bill Cosby. Okay, the situation going on with him. I will say that I'm still riding with him. You know, I mean, I grew up on that show, The Cosby Show. Now, his actions, you know, what he's done, you know, what he's been accused of. One thing I don't condone in any mistreatment or any harsh activities, any salacious and, you know, defiling activities that went on with him. You know, it's sort of in, you know, these women that's a legend that, you know, he committed these, you know, these sex acts that they've been drugged up. I don't, now I don't condone that in no way. If he did it, yo, man, you know, he got to, he got to eat that. He got to take that responsibility. But, you know, as far as, you know, his contribution to, you know, as being so-called America's dad, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I grew up on that show. You know, I grew up on that show. It's not going to change, you know, how I see the show. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is going on in this legal issue, he has to deal with that. You know, and so he has to take responsibility, you know. Um, it was, you know, um, I'm, I'm, like I said, it's just, this is... It, we, I feel it's much deeper. There's a much deep-seated type situation going on with that. Something a little more sinister. You know, I don't want to get too much into it because I don't know all the facts. But, you know, again, you know, if he did do it, yo, man, you got to wear that. You got to wear that if he did it. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, you know, was... In the wrong, you know, you're wrong, you're wrong. But, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, like I said, if you're wrong, you're wrong. You got to deal with that. <sighs> but, you know, I see this whole thing with Hollywood. You know, a lot of black celebrities out there, you know, it's as, it's as if, you know, it's a testament of trying to keep your nose clean. And I'm speaking on this, you know, me writing the children's series about the talking subway car, you know, Reggie the Redbird. You know, I keep my nose clean. You know, I live a very transparent life. Okay, I got nothing to hide. I can sleep at night. Well, I work overnight, but, you know, and so I can sleep good. Okay, I have a clean conscience. Okay, so I, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I keep my nose clean. And, you know, I know the power of giving, you know, the power of giving back. You know, that's what Islam, and I'm not afraid to speak about my faith either. You know, um, I see the fruits of, you know, the fruits of giving, you know, so sort of the power of giving back, you know, seeing, you know, people and family smiles or whatever. You know, and giving back to the community, giving back to society, giving back to people, okay? You know, this this whole thing, you know, in our lives, family values, <coughs> you know, family values, you know, it's so, it's just like walking on eggshells and you're in the public eye, you know, so it's like, you know, and like I said, I'm... I'm, I'm giving it to you raw. Excuse me, I just had a salad. But I'm giving it to you raw. Um, you know, I see things more in a egalitarian manner. You know, in a more egalitarian mannerism on how things is handled and how things is addressed. Okay? I don't feel like you know, you should hide anything if you're living a clean life. You know, I believe in honesty, you know, integrity. You know, most of the times, 
you know, people see and perceive you, you know, by that first impression. You know, and watching the Cosby show all these years, and that being one of my favorite shows, you know, that's how I see him. What he's done in his life, because I don't know the man personally. I don't know, I haven't sat down and had a conversation with him. You know, and that's something he has to have a sit down and a conversation with the Lord, you know, on things that he's done that was extramarital and something out there, you know, to try to sate his desires and things that made him happy. You know, if you're in a relationship, you know, you got to, you know, you kind of, you know, you got to mitigate, you know, and try to control yourself, you know, throughout your, your, your you know, you know, your wants and your needs, you know, and, you know, often, all too often, you know, when we're at the top of our game, many of us, when we're at the top of our game, you know, we, a lot of, of the affluent, you know, you get this big-headed type deal where, you know, they, some would feel that they're above the law. And, you know, they can just sweep things under the rug by money. But, you know, the thing that really hurts is your conscience. You know, that's what's really going to get you. If you know right from wrong. If you have those principles on what's right and what's wrong. See, you know... I feel that, yo, if I feel something that's not right, you know, on a potential future activity, I'm not going to do it. Because then I know the consequences. Some people out there, they live with this, well, you only live once deal. I don't really care much for that saying, okay, you only live once. That's just clickbait, you know, with that type of saying, we keep saying, well, it's, it's, you know, you live, you know, you live in a certain manner, you know, I, so you only live once, you know, you ain't going to get a chance to do it again. No, 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 no. You do something out there and not think it's going to come back to bite you on the behind. That's crazy. So, you know, the thing is, just don't get yourself caught up in these crazy activities. And you ain't got to worry about all of that. Okay, some people live for the thrill of the moment. You got to think foresight and the hindsight. That's how I see things. You know, in the foresight of what can potentially happen, the outcome, the consequences. You know, so instead of having to go through the traumatic craziness and the drama of having to deal with those types of consequences, you know, of doing something out there that, you know, is going to have some serious ramifications, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to get into those types of activities, you know. So all this stuff, all these things, everybody's take on Bill Cosby, okay, you wasn't saying that before. Why did it take all this time? You know, for these people to come out and say that, you know, they was done wrong. That they got so-called, you know, drugged up. Okay? Because, you know, if it was up to me, truth be told, on some real, okay, you want to you wanna put this man crucify this one individual so okay let's go ahead and pull up some more of them stars okay everybody else that's been accused let's put them on trial okay let's not just go for one individual let's go for everybody out there that has mistreated somebody male or female okay all of this is, so everybody in this witch hunt deal okay you know I think everybody out there nobody ain't no saint Okay, just like Bill Cosby wasn't a saint. Your president ain't no saint. 
That's another story. I'm going to get that and stuff. And y'all evangelicals and all of that. Y'all talking all that craziness. Nah, man. Nah, we're not going to do that. We need to not continue to live in a society where we're just pointing fingers. Everybody want to have something to talk about. You know, the Me Too movement, okay? If you don't feel right at that time, don't do it, okay? You know, you running around and you, you, you know, you're in your feelings and stuff, man, and you know, you're like, eh, should I do it? Should I not? The peer pressure, look, you know what? Let me tell you something. You got to sleep with you every night. Your friends, your co-workers, your, your co-stars and all of that, they go home and they got to do the same thing that you do. Okay? So I'm going to cut this little video short. But, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still rock with them. Okay, I'm still rock with him, you know, you know, as you know, Bill Cosby, you know, Dr. Huxley. Now, if he did, like I said, if he did something he wasn't supposed to, my sympathy goes out to those victims. However, it's amazing how all of a sudden, after all of these years, you didn't go out there, you didn't feel. You don't feel sure about yourself, and you feel like something was wrong. Why didn't you go ahead right then and there and stop it? That's your decision. Like, no, this ain't right. I'm not going to do this. It takes you all that time, all these years, to feel like you've been touched. You've been, you know, you got victimized all these years. Now you you all hurt. That's like me getting robbed or having a gun pulled up on me years ago, and then I come back now saying I got robbed. I was victimized. What's done is done. Okay, if you've been something's wrong, something happened back then, and it was wrong, stop it. That's your decision. You made that bed. Stop that. You have that power to stop. Whatever is going on, you can stop it. You can stop it. That's your choice. You know, we run around here and so we're looking for validation. Don't look for no validation. No. It's all because it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And so and if you don't feel it's right, if you got that gut instinct, okay, don't go forward with any type of activities you're not comfortable with. Okay, all this talk about peer pressure and, you know, I feel a certain way. No, that's just it's your body. Okay, it's your body, that's your mind. You got to sleep at night. Now, if somebody's putting you up to it, which, like I said, that's a different story because I don't have all the facts. You know? I don't have all those facts. So I can't, you know, I can't do or say anything, you know what I'm saying, that's crazy. You know, and out of the ordinary. What's going on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking good. So yeah, man, you know, people got to have some kind of thought. Listen, this train is here, you know what I'm saying? It's sort of, yeah, work. But that's just my little take with the kind of situation. You know, but like I said, you did it, you know, you got to deal with that. You know, you know the victims, if something, something really happened to you, for real, for real, you know, my heart goes out to you. All of that other stuff and this Me Too thing, if you've been victimized, if you feel like something's going on, something wrong, say something. You saw right in there. I'm out. Peace.